Hey guys, Jen here. So we're going to take a quick segue away from um, the chronological uh, reintroductory into my testimony, which I'm only giving again to set the stage as to how I'm trying to do my part in these times and an effort to help others. Um, I got what I believe is a word, a message, and I pray and I believe that um, my prayers are answered and that God speaks to all of us in the spirit. Um, I do not hear a verbal oral voice speaking to me aloud. That's only happened to me once. Um, but I do believe that we all have that heart connection with God through our spirits. And so I want to tell you what that message was. But in order to do that, I have to tell you how I received that message because it's key. We're going to get into visualizing a book as you read it because I think that's imperative in these times and understanding that we don't have as many enemies as we think we do. We have more in common than we know. And I don't think... I don't think a lot of us know exactly what team we're on, meaning we've been divided into the wrong teams. Um, the enemies are wolves in sheep's clothing, and they are in the churches. And sad to say, um, it's been that way for a very long time, our entire lives. Now, what you're looking at is a screenshot from Trey Smith's newest video. I'm glad to see he's moved away from the politics and gotten back to his first fruits. He's a very good teacher. What you're looking at, um, and, and he has a very good reputation, so I'm hoping that you'll go find his channel if you don't know him. What you're looking at is the original Aleph Bet. That's where we get the word for alphabet. Aleph Bet of um, ancient Hebrew. It was symbology. It was a series of symbols, 22 of them to be exact, not 26. And... This is what they used to write. Uh, these were their caricatures. But it's also also what they used to cast lots. Now, casting lots, if you look at this and you aren't told what it is, okay? If you aren't told that it's casting lots, you're going to look at it and you're going to say, oh, that's witchcraft. Yes, a lot of us are told that things like this are witchcraft. I'm going to tell you, though, the most important message that Christ ever gave that most people ignore is lying scribes. Christ told us that we were listening to and not to listen to lying scribes, okay? Divination wasn't always banned, or at least it wasn't always defined as it was um, when Paul used it. And I have some issue with Paul that I'm not going to get into here and now. Um, but regardless, the alphabet is the first series of caricatures of, of words and phrases that the ancient Hebrews used. Casting lots is what they used all the way up until the New Testament to choose a replacement apostle for Judas. When Judas betrayed Christ and he hung himself, they then, um, they were unsure of God's will. Okay. Because you can't always hear God's voice, let's be honest. We are separated from God. So how would they get an answer from God? They would cast lots. Casting lots, we don't know exactly how they did it. We weren't told. But um, a lot of people have some really good ideas about it. And they can be done on stones, on sticks, on wood chips. I'm actually making my own now. Um, I've researched enough. I know that um, I wanted to use wood. I might make a set of stone ones, and I'm actually cutting them down. I bought a dowel rod. I'm using a little handsaw, and I'm actually making them my own, kind of like little Scrabble pieces. For a long time, I thought that even the, the game Scrabble, you know, could this be bad? Because I felt like I was getting messages through that game. Um, and here it is the same thing as casting lots. And... I don't want to get into a debate here and now about whether this is good or bad. Again, the apostles did this, the disciples did this, all the way up until the New Testament. It's something that Deborah, who is now a saint, uh, she was a military leader and a prophetess. It's a um, tool that she employed, that she used, in order to determine God's will. Because again, we live in a noisy society and we don't always know what God's will is for us. And we can't always decide in a 
timely manner. And so sometimes we need other ways to do this. And <clears throat> excuse me, in modern times, the equivalent of this would be flipping a coin, you know, leaving something up to chance, we call it now. But this is where all of that came from. We have been told all of these things are bad. We have been told all of these things are no good, simply again to take our power away from us. It is all in the intention that you have and how you use the tools that God gave us, okay? So the alphabet, I was making my very own and it has 22 letters. Once they move to a more modern language, they um, this is modern Hebrew, okay? And I find it very, we're also going to, uh, research into the fact of why did Christ never, you, you're never caught um, in the Bible, he's never caught reading scripture. Yes, he uses scripture, but he's never caught actually reading. And the one time he writes it's in the sand and he blows it away. We're going to talk about that. So if you're someone who is seeing this video now and you're like, wow, she's getting into like some strange things here. I think this might be witchcraft. I would ask you to just hang around and listen. Okay, nothing is going to harm you unless you accept it and receive it into your life and unless you're practicing it. It doesn't hurt you just to have knowledge about something. Knowledge empowers you. So we are going to look more at this, but I want to give you the message that I received. Now, I started making these, and the idea was I was going to wood burn them. And so I decided I was going to start with the easiest ones, or I would just um, draw down whichever one's attracted my eye first and seemed um, somewhat simple to draw and then burn on the wood. And so I started with Tet, which is the one that is listed as number nine next to Trey there. It looks like a little um, aspirin, to be quite frank. That's the first one I laid down, and that's basket, snake, or it can mean surround, okay? The second one that I chose randomly to create was Dalet. Da Dahlet. That is um, the one next to Trey that looks like the little upside down top hat. Dahlet. I think I'm saying that right. It means tent door or pathway. The third one that I chose randomly to create in my um, set was the cross, which is Tav, which means mark, sign, or covenant. Okay? That is the mark of Christ. That is why we choose to wear, um, some of us wear crosses. That is Christ's mark, okay? It would be, that's why uh, the beast has a mark as well, because he counterfeits everything of God's. Four. The one I chose was the one, um, let's see, next to Trey. It is right next to his hand. It's the line. It looks like a planet. It, it's a circle with a line through it. And it's a uh, numeric value. Looks like 100. That one is called Kof. It's sun or horizon and behind. Okay. Now, um, the fifth one. I'm going to go through the last few quickly because only the first three matter. The fifth one is Vav, which is uh, the Y. And it means nail, peg, or and, or add. And again, they, they said a lot with one simple caricature. Sometimes you, you were um, to interpret that as a single word or, or a whole, um, a fuller, you know, uh, phrase. And after that came Shin. And that means to eat, consume, or destroy. Seven is Lahmed. It means staff, good, control, or toward. Eight, I chose the I, which is I hin. It means I to see or prop experience. And nine, the last one. Oh, wait. I skipped seven. I'm sorry. Seven is the staff is what I chose. Lahmed, staff, good, control, or toward. And the ninth one was mem. Uh, it's like a squiggly line, which means water or chaos. So I was, um, I did nine because that is a number of completion. Now the first three I figured were a message because they kind of, there was a period after this, right? I, I realized that the first three were a full message all on their own. All right. So one, two, and three all together would be, let me get back to one, tet, dalet, and tav. 
And I interpreted that to mean um, surround your tent door or your path with the mark, the tav, of Christ, with the sign of God, which is the cross. Why did I interpret um, it that way and to end that way? Well, because it's a full interpretation, right? Full stop. Um, I am being told, and I believe we are being told, I'm getting the, the shivers or goosebumps right now, we are being told to surround our tents, much like the um, in the Old Testament where the ancient Hebrews put the um, the blood on their doors so that that um, their houses would be passed over for Passover and their sons would be spared and not sacrificed uh, by Herod, okay? We are being told again to uh, mark our, our houses, our homes, our tents, which could be our rooms, our dwelling places with the mark of God. Even if you're just doing this with um, oil and not an actual cross, if you're blessing your doorways with um, virgin olive oil, um, I think it would be a good idea to start praying over your homes if you're not doing this. There's a very specific reason for this, and in my next videos, when I tell you about my dreams that I no longer believe were dreams, they had a lot to do with alien abductions. We're going to get into a little high strangeness there because there was an agreement that one of our presidents uh, made, allegedly. It was also the last season of American Horror Story. That agreement allegedly expired in 2019, and we all know what started in 2019. The agreement allegedly was that they could take a certain number of citizens um, and they would leave the rest of us alone for this technology that they would trade for. Allegedly, that expired in 2019. And we're hearing a lot more stories about this Bigfoot, about sacrifices in the, the national parks. I've talked at great length about all of these things. And yes, I deleted some material, material to try and lose some of these um, stalkers. I believe the people stalking me knew, they, they know that I'm uh, onto them. <laughs> Make no mistake about it, they're flaunting what they're doing right on YouTube. But anyways, um, you know, we're not alone here. We, we never have been. And we're in dangerous times. It is a tribulation, at least in our lifetime, if not the tribulation. You don't have to listen to me. You don't have to believe me. And I actually, you know, I believe, I believe in Christ and I believe in, in the Lord and I believe in the cross. You don't have to believe in that. But you have to at least believe in your own sovereignty. Do not consent for anything to come into your dwelling place uninvited. At least know that much. Even if you're not a believer in God, believe in yourself to keep uh, you and your family safe. But anyways, I love you. Um, God bless. And the next video is going to get into those um, dreams a little bit because I want other people to know that they're not alone in this and that normal everyday people are having strange and bizarre experiences that are only multiplying by the day. And... And we need to be talking about it. It's not good to hide. And uh, if we expose these evils, that's how we stop them. Okay, more later. God bless. Bye.